This is a Ferguson tractor from, it's been quoted late 40s, but 1950s-ish. And uh, just picked him up. Didn't cost me that much money. So we're um, going to get it off the trailer here and uh, get it going. It goes. She goes fine. Needs a few jobs doing to it. It's got some leaks. It's got no charge apparently, but there is a battery in there and it'll start apparently. It has started, but she's an early jo job. So I'm gonna, yep, give it a go and see if I can start it. Here we go, what can go wrong? I don't think I'm very skilled at starting crank start tractors. A bloke's going to be fixing the start pretty quick. I'm going to see if I can roll it off anyway. Well, I've been doing a bit of work to the little tractor. I'm gonna give it a clean. I've got some degreaser and um, I pulled the plugs out and had a bit of a look at them. Cleaned up some uh, fuel leaks. I pulled the little uh, toolbox off there because this switch was playing up and I pulled the starter motor off because uh, the starter motor didn't seem to want to turn over. So anyway, the brushes is one brush out of the four that's a little bit funny. So I've cleaned it up, put it all back together. Seems to be working okay. That battery there um, is a fail, but it's okay to crank. I'll put a new bit of board there. I've had this one here is the oil line to the gauge. And when I undone that, I must have disturbed it and made it leak. So I've put a little bit of solder on up there. Now we seem to have fixed it. Uh, I've given it a clean up around here. You can see what the gears are. This oil gauge works, but not very much. This gauge seems to there, but it doesn't charge, so it doesn't work. I've given this a bit of a fix up. I got that and found uh, it's cracked. But anyway, we welded that. I've adjusted the brakes so they come on evenly. Um, I'll probably put some new oil in there. That's in the uh, in the air cleaner, oil bath air cleaner. These things have, and uh, I've had the fuel tank off. I've re put some new rubbers on it, and um, I've had a little bit of adjust on the carby. Probably needs pulling to pieces and uh, cleaning all out. I don't know what's going on here. The water pump seems to be uh, out of a line with the crankshaft and the generator. Don't know why that is. That belt's on a real funny twist. And a uh, couple more uh, nuts there would be really good. I'll put this bonnet back on. It wasn't on there. The bonnet... 
it now swings. I've actually raised the front of it that much because it was running, rubbing on here and had had rubbed through there. So I've raised it a little bit now. It hits, it hinges, it hinges, and it hits on here. Steering wheel, yep, not that flash. Not that expensive for a new one. So I'm doing a bit of, bit of a clean up on it. I'm gonna hit it with a pressure clean. And then, um, hey, Gray Ferguson, 1950, it was made. Early 1950, according to the serial number, which is right there. So, uh, yep, a bit of a progress report. All right, I've been working on the little Fergie here for a bit. I've um, had to weld that up. That um, was bent really bad. Then I thought, oh, well, I'll just straighten it. And it broke. Wonderful. So anyway, give it a bit old, good old uh, straight. Now, these hydraulics are holding up, so it can't be too bad. The oil pressure gauge, oh, it's down to 20 now. Look at that. And it goes up to 60, but I wouldn't, wouldn't get that accurate. Temperature gauge works. And uh, done a bit of work in here. There was a loose screw in there. Points I haven't changed. Plugs I've set. I've set them at one millimetre. I hope that's all right. I've been working on the governor. And it's all working fine here now. And uh, this carby here. You pull the choke on, but that should turn that. That should be turning. No. No, so the choke doesn't work. That's why I'm having trouble starting it. I'm thinking I'm pulling the choke on, but it's not. Anyway, we're working on the old tractor, so we'll get him sorted out. So there we go. Well, here we are, back on the old tractor again. And um, I'm not in the picture. Now I'm in the picture. And uh, got the battery charger on here at the moment because that battery um, doesn't get charged by this machine because it's a six volt starter, six volt system, six volt generator, and we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to use 12 volt on that, 12 volt battery. A bloke's going to have to decommission the generator and put an alternator on there somehow if you want it to charge. So, uh, yeah, I've actually got it running pretty good, I think. Let's give it a start. You can always put the petrol on. I'm actually pretty happy the way that's running. And that's it, it should go back to iron. We've got that to work now. What worked too good before. So, uh, happy with that. Nice little old tractor. Can't believe that it's 72 years old. 